In this video, we are going to be tackling the question of, should my player play travel baseball? That a boy. Yes, sir. As much as I want every single player to play for the Tigers organization, I know that's not realistic. My biggest thing is that I want you to have a strong sports experience. And if that's the Tigers, great. If not, here are the other options to consider. Choosing a team is massively important. And I think about it in three categories. You have recreational, you have local, and you have travel. The biggest thing that I want to accomplish inside of this video is to help you save time and save money. Also, I wanna make sure that you have an excellent sports experience. First thing we wanna talk about is price. What is the price of everything that's gonna happen during the year? First, let's talk about travel because that's a major chunk of it. How often are you going to be traveling? Because when you travel, you have to consider hotel costs, gas, car maintenance, food, how many days are you gonna be on the road? That's very, very important when it comes to the cost because that can add up training. When you ask your coach and he says, all right, I really want you on the team, Jimmy. We really want you to be here. Ask him, is this training gonna be included in the price? What are the expectations of the training? Also, is this gonna be a la carte? Because if it's a la carte, things can get massively expensive. There's a lot of great organizations. There's also not so great organizations. When you dig deep and this team is a part of an organization, really ask yourself, is this a club that we wanna be a part of? I really like the coach, but is this the club that we wanna be a part of? Because there's a lot of things that can come with being a part of a club. Is there a lot of things that, that are included that help reduce costs? Are there things that it makes it more expensive? Ask those questions, really dig deep into that because the price can skyrocket if you are not in the right organization. Second thing, expectations. We've talked about this a little bit inside of price, but you have to be upfront with the head coach. Also, my coaches, be upfront with your players and your families. The biggest thing that I see when it comes to sports drama is that there's certain expectations that are not met because they weren't mentioned in the beginning of the relationship. So really state the expectations. Parents, here are the things that you need to ask. What's the length of the season? Can we take vacations? Can we play multiple sports? Can my son or daughter play other activities during the year? Because if you don't get those questions out, and the coach expects you to be there every single day, that could cause a lot of issues. It might not be the perfect fit. Competition. What type of competition do you want to play? At the youth level, it's very clear cut and very simple. You have single A, you have double A, you have triple A, and you have major. Those are U-triple-S-A standards. You want to make sure that you're playing the level that gives you the right competition that's challenging you, but more importantly, you're finding success. Now, high school, this is a very difficult landscape. You really have to rely on the organizations at hand. And you also have to know what type of tournaments they're gonna be playing in. So when you decide, hey, we're gonna go play for this organization, the big thing for high school is development because everyone is pretty good. The, the player pool has condensed massively from 12U all the way up to 15U. So the player supply is a lot less. So there's gonna be really good players at the high school level. The big thing guys here out of this episode or this video, however you wanna call it, is that I wanna make sure that you have the tools to make a better decision when it comes to making a team because I want everyone to have a strong sports experience. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.